guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it. people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, the fact of the skins. Ragnarok. From snow. Aye. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Feel it in my scroat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the horse? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. 
The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving and also to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Again, how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. A bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay. This'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimbul Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs> 